XFN44, live in West Palm Beach, Florida, continues with the following bout brought to you by the law offices of Matthew Glassman and HateJail.com and is set in the XFN middleweight kickboxing division with three two-minute rounds of action. Introducing first, this pressure style fighter stands at six feet, four inches tall. He weighed in at 185.6 pounds. He enters this fight with an amateur kickboxing record of three wins and two losses and fighting out of Bushido Muay Thai by way of Paris, France. He is Lucas Dos Santos. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This brawler stands at six feet, five inches tall. He weighed in at 179 pounds. He is making his amateur kickboxing debut and fighting out of Senjitsu in Boynton Beach, Florida. He is Torrance Knuckles Coward. Maybe. Referee assigned to this fight, Tracy Morehead. Maybe he's knuckle switch. My name is Torrance. T -t 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 Torrance. Kill, kill knuckles. Kill knuckles. Now, round number one underway between the, the battle of the short guys. Oh, man. Lucas Dos Santos looking to test out the newcomer here in Torrance Cowart. Oh, no. right on the face with that up with that uh, high kick. Was Dos Santos? Yeah, Lucas Dos Santos has got a has, has got a very good methodical pace about him. Oh, and some Hard good striking. Right hand. Some good striking as well. Nice one too there from Coward. Coward might want to get his back off the cage though. Mm, good body shot there. Um, little that slip. Both, that could have been. That, yeah. A little that, bit of a slip, Reno. Man, that right hand comes down way too low to throw that, that left jab for Cowart. Oh! Nice knee to the body there from Dos Santos. Man, this is kind of target practice here for Lucas Dos Santos. Cowart's going to need to, going to, need to establish gonna, position. Yeah, he needs to get some distance. Yeah, I don't like the way. Oh! A good body shot. Beautiful knee. He's going to get 10 seconds to decide if he wants to keep going or not. Yeah, that is the look of a oh, man. He is up. He is up. You have oh, to now he's angry. A body kick is coming. Yeah, but that, yeah. that mouthpiece has got to go. Oh. oh, right hand. Man, Dos Santos knows there's a fury coming and seems to be waiting right through it. Yeah, Cowart leaning too far back on his knees. Another good knee to the body. Those are hurting. Oh. Coward doesn't know what to do with those. Another one puts him down. Yeah, yeah. That is a guy that has not taken a hard body shot yet. Yeah, you can only take so many of those. The liver won't let you stand up. Yeah, Dos Santos needs to find a neutral corner and hang out, actually. Referee waved it off. Did he? Yeah. That wasn't the end of the round? No, I think that's the end of the fight. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, end of the fight. Uh, yeah, Dos Santos' corner is not treating it like there's going to be another round coming. Mm. Mm. Hard knee to the body there. Yeah, I mean, those knees were... Yeah, and this... This is not a... This was not a good idea. Uh, to put a man with two months experience against a three and two uh, proven Muay Thai fighter. Um, Coward, again, looks like a guy that had never been hit clean to the body yeah, before. Look, look, I respect, yeah. I respect the, the yeah. gumption yeah. Uh, of, of, you know, sure, towards but, Coward. Yeah, but the, but, job, but the job of the corner and the coach is sometimes to pull the reins back on the thoroughbred. Um, because that's the kind of thing that can maybe sour, sour you to the experience. Yeah, like this, like what? Yeah, I agree, 100 percent. Yeah, I mean, it's clearly a guy that's never been hit clean in the body before. Um, but Dos Santos just looked like the last time he was here. Just clean, composed, good.
good pace, polish, polish striker. And, and, and look, if his dream is to fight in in in, in, uh, in dream, in dream no, no, and in one, one. Yeah. He, what's it called? He, glory. He's uh, glory. He's well on his way. Yeah, he looks like the kind of guy that's on his way to glory, and um, you know, in more ways than one. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Glory with a capital G. Glory with a lower case. So I mean, a perfect performance there from Lucas Dos Santos. Let's, let's get the official time here. I guess that's the end of the round, or? Yeah, that's know. the end of the fight. I know it's the end of the fight, but was, was it at the bell he waved it off? That I don't right, know. Yeah, we'll, we'll, right, right before, the, right before, as the bell was. was what, 158? 158, 159. I don't know. We heard the 10-second click already. So, as close to a uh, perfect performance for the, the Parisian as you'll get. And it's taken them longer to tally this result than it did the split decision earlier. There should be no tally. And I think that earlier, by the way, they said one minute 51 of the third round in that Jay Boogie stoppage. I know for a fact I saw the clock say eight seconds left before the finish, so it would have had to have been 152 at the least. Uh, they shortchanged him a little bit there, um, but that's okay. Who cares? You don't get points for nah, no, no. For any more you don't seconds. get a big W for that. Here we go, Blake Chadwick. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Tracy Moorhead stops the fight after round number one. Your winner by TKO out of the blue corner, Lucas Dos Santos. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner, Lucas Dos Santos, to take a moment representing Bushido Muay Thai yet again. Now, you always say your dream is to fight in glory, and you look like a young man that's taking all the right steps to make that happen. A beautiful performance here tonight, wonderful body shots, cool, polished, good pace as always. What's really next for you? I know that to make the jump to professional Muay Thai is kind of tough sometimes to stay active. Is it more important for you to keep fighting now or to start making the next steps towards your dream of, uh, of glory? Well, I want to keep fighting. Of course, you know, I want to fight for a belt. I want to get that belt. And hopefully next fight, you know, I'm going to do that. So. so you're saying that if you get your way, the next time we see you'll be fighting for the XFN Kickboxing Championship. Is that correct? Sir, you heard me. Yes, sir. That is something I would love to call. What else? Is, hey, it's been, a, it's been a, a fight since we saw you. What else, what else you got? You got a crowd? You got a team? We got a lot of time to kill because of you here, buddy. I want to say thank you to my parents because they come down. They fly down from D.C. every fucking fight. Oh, I'm sorry. I want to say thank you to Coach Manny, who runs Bushido. I've been training there ever since I moved here, and I love it. And I want to say thank you to all my, my teammates back in D.C. at Beta. It's my home's birthday, so happy birthday. I told him I would give him a good present. And uh, to my girlfriend, too, who, even if it's out the way, she'll drive me to training, she'll pick me up. And, yeah, that's it. Making waves from Miami by way of Paris, France, ladies and gentlemen. He is bound for glory in more ways than one. Put your hands together for your winner, Lucas Dos Santos.